today we are going to discuss about some mcq questions on the topic of stem cells the first question is what do you think a stem cell is the options are it is a cell out of which the stem of the tree is made up of it is a part of stem of the tree no it is a cell that can divide and gives rise to specialized cell yes this is the correct option stem cell is the undifferentiated cell that can divide into any kind of cell second question the difference between stem cells and other type of cell is stem cells can undergo cell division even after long periods of inactivity second option is stem cells can be induced physiologically or in the lab to become a special cell for a special function so here the both option are correct so the correct option is both basically two types of stem cells first one is embryonic and adult from human beings have been worked with by scientists so this is the correct option from mammals we can obtain two type of stem cell one is embryonic stem cell and second one is adult stem cell stem cell research can help to treat a number of disease successfully in near future this statement is also true the primary role of adult stem cell is to differentiate into specialized cell to other tissues maintain and repair the tissues in which they are found gives rise to sperm cells or egg cells so here the option b is correct adult stem cells can be differentiated into special kind of cell that means they can form the cells from where they are found transplant rejection risk is less likely in tissue derived from adult stem cells than those derived from embryonic stem cells this option is true the difference or differences between embryonic stem cell that is the esp and adult stem cell is or are that embryonic stem cell differentiated into all cell types more than 200 in the body whereas differentiation in asc that is the adult stem cell is limited to the cell types of their tissues of origin embryonic stem cell can be grown in massive quantities in lab conditions whereas adult stem cells cannot be grown in large quantities so here the both option is correct one of the most important disadvantages of deriving embryonic stem cells from the embryo is that the subject cannot get pregnant again this option is wrong it is an ethical issue since it kills the embryo which is potential life so this is the correct option every life is important amra jani ki prottekta jiboni mulloban hoy to ekhane option b is correct research on potential use of human stem cell is very important because information can be obtained about how degenerative disease arise so that new strategies for therapy can be developed option 2 is stem cell could be issued sorry could be used to test new drugs option 3 it is important to generate tissues for cell based therapies and option 4 is all of the above so option d is the correct answer is it possible to store stem cells for future use by the donor obviously it is yes of course if not stored for future use then how could we use it for uh, treat another disease or how to use it to grow another kind of cells
11 the differentiation potential of the stem cell specifies stochastic differentiation asymmetric replication potency and self renewal the correct option is option c potency the types of stem cells in mammals is just two embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells stem cells are present in unicellular organism multicellular organism non-living things and virus stem cells are present in multicellular organism the process in which one stem cell develops into two differentiated daughter cells another stem cell undergo mitosis and produces two identical stem cells is called stochastic differentiation so what is the meaning of stochastic differentiation when one further stem cell can differentiate it into two daughter cell daughter b for daughter that means stochastic differentiation In a developing embryo, the stem cell can differentiate it into ectoderm, endoderm, and mesoderm. Ecto that means outer, endo that means inner, and meso that means middle, middle layer. So, stem cell can differentiate it into any kind of cell. That means it's all of the above. Stem cells are used to make clones create new species of animals make babies grow different types of tissues which is true about embryonic stem cells they no longer divide their cell types is said and cannot change they can develop into only one type of cell they can become any cell type in the body they are found in adults so the correct option is they can become any cell type in the body that is the embryonic stem cells esc embryonic stem cells uh, if the question is for adult stem cells adult stem cells sorry this is esc they can develop into only one specific kind of stem cell or on kind of cells what is the difference between embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells so the options are embryonic stem cells can differentiate into more cells types than adult stem cells this is the correct option embryonic stem cells can divide it into more than of 200 cell types sorry what process best explains how muscle cell and nerve cell can develop from the same fertilized egg so uh, egg egg or sperm egg or sperm is fusion hai tokhon ekhan theke ki form kore zygote form kore Acta zygote take a gota human body form kore kiba be form kore by the process of differentiation. How do stem cells know what type of cells to differentiate into? The nucleus has instruction to turn some genes on and some genes off. This is the wrong option signals from chemicals in the organisms or from the environment determined which genes will be turned on and off this is the correct option which of the following is not a source for stem cells so correct option is sperm and egg from sperm and egg cells no stem cells can be derived next is which of the following cell would be considered differentiated the option is muscle cells differentiated cells express the genes and proteins characteristic of their final identity in the adult and the identity can be altered only under special circumstances 
how does the concept of differentiation as described here differ from the concept of determination the options are determined cell have to begin to differentiation but not fully differentiated these are wrong determined cells are embryonic cells that will give rise to the all cell type of the adult organisms but have not yet begun to express the genes this is wrong differentiated cells will continue to follow their fate if grafted into a different place in a host embryo even though they do not yet express the genes and proteins characteristic in their final phase this is the right option what is the role of stem cells with regard to the function of adult tissue and organ stem cells are undifferentiated cells they are divided asymmetrically so in uh, the next option stem cells are embryonic cells that persist in the adult and gives rise to all the cell types in the body false this is the question for adult tissue that means adult stem cell that means we develop into specialized cell types the third option is stem cells are determined cell types this is wrong stem cell is undetermined or undifferentiated stem cells can difference uh, differentiated cells this is also wrong stem cells are fully differentiated wrong 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 so the correct option is a what is the developmental pathway by which the hematopoietic stem cells gives rise to macrophage the hematopoietic stem cell divides giving rise to a daughter cell that remains a stem cell and a daughter cell that differentiates direct in directly into a macrophage this is the wrong option second option is hematopoietic stem cells can gives rise to either a lymphoid progenitor or a myeloid progenitor the myeloid progenitor differentiate directly into the macrophage wrong the hematopoietic stem cells can follow two paths one lymphoid and the another one is myeloid either of which can ultimately gives rise to macrophage this is the also wrong option the hematopoietic stem cells can gives rise to a variety of cells referred to as granulocyte and any of the defined macrophage is also wrong uh, so the remaining one is c this is the correct option the hematopoietic stem cells must first generate a cell of the myeloid lineage as opposed by the lymphoid lineage they are granulocyte macrophage progenitor then a monocyte and finally a macrophage this is the correct option what is globin gene switching globin gene switching refers to the switching of the globin genes during erythrocyte differentiation this is wrong globin gene switching refers to the switching uh, from a to b so that the a to b2 hemoglobin can be made this is the wrong globin gene switching refers to the molecular basis of the genetic disease sickle cell anemia this is wrong globin gene switching refers to the transition during fetal development from the production of hemoglobin from e to g and g to b this is the correct sequence so remember the sequence first e e to g and g to b so this is the wrong answer this is our correct option d what are the stem cells that renew the epithelium of the gut pump uh, near in the bone marrow wrong inner cell mass wrong in the villi wrong near the bottom of the crypt this is the correct option which one of the following genes was not part of the transcription factor used to generate induced pluripotent stems ips the ips ki adult stem cell ki class of class e porano ase class follow korbi peye jabi cells from the mouse skin fibroblast so correct option is c that is the c gene it is the name of a gene c gene j u n gene what is the major concern of using retroviral vectors to deliver or activate pluripotent genes 
not options are not very efficient and needs repeated transcription wrong plasmid dilute in iks induced pluripotent stem cells they were wrong vector and transients remains in the genome and can be reactivated in the differentiated cells this is the correct options and the others are the vector integrated but the uh, but is excised by transpose this is the wrong slow answer is also wrong so the i think this is the last question okay this is the last question what important lesson for the mechanism of development can we derive from the ability to clone frogs by nuclear transfer that the selective gene expression seen in differentiated cell does not result from an irreversible loss of genes or their potential for expression that means after dividing a cell they maintain their cell stability or their nucleic acid stability so this is the correct option so that's all for today if you have any questions please follow